It's weak for almost two years this week. I'm four and a half percent. Um, can we say the worst is over? Uh, I'm sure there are many who would love to say the worst is over. Um, I suspect probably not, however. Um, Four-ish percent in a week is pretty good performance, but you know, as you said, gold has reflected what's been happening in other markets as well. Big moves in treasury yields, emerging market mm -hmm. equities. Um, in the context of what's happened over the last two years, though, I really don't think uh, anyone can, can step in and say, yep, this is definitively the bottom here. Uh, it's a reflection of the fact that a lot of markets were, were a bit oversold before Bernanke soothed the waters. Um, but, you know, April was, was a chastening experience for a lot of people who bought that dip um, down to 1,300-ish uh, and thought they'd seen the bottom uh, and then promptly saw the market collapse another $100, $150 on them. So is the next level on the downside, are we looking at 1,200? And I suppose if you do get through that, the big one, 1,000 isn't too far away. Well, the technical guys would, would point to an area around about 1,150, 1,160 as, as being a key point for, for the market on the charts. Um, round numbers sometimes mean uh, a lot and sometimes don't mean so much. Uh, I think the next key point on the downside is, is the previous low in this cycle, about 1,180. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of talk about the downside and the mm. bearish side of gold, but uh, what levels on the upside should we be looking at if we break through them that will give gold a, something of a breather? Well, physical demand is very strong right now, um, and if you get a, a, a pause in investor sales, then we could see gold being uh, taken back up to the sort of 13, 20, 22 kind of area on that, on that physical buying, I think, but, um, but that's going to be pretty stiff resistance at that point.